What up, y'all? This is Jimmy Dukes reporting for KFL. We're here with Mr. Daniel Loam. Yes, sir. Loam. Loam. Yes, sir. I was like, Loam. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Everybody says it like that. Loam. <laughs> yeah. I make sure to tell the ring announcer actually at the first one. Yeah. Okay, right you know, before, I was like, hey, just in case before you say my name, I don't want you to throw me off a little bit. I was like, it's Loam. Not yeah. Loam. Don't, don't fuck it up now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then it's going to throw me off right before the, you know? Yeah, man. For sure. Well, I appreciate you taking the time and uh, talking to me, man. You got a fight coming up. A second amateur fight? Second amateur fight in MMA. Nice. I've had one and oh uh, in amateur Muay Thai. Yeah. And how did how does a how do you like Muay Thai compared to MMA? Like what do you prefer? I'm I'm a striker. I love kicking, love elbows, knees. That's one of my favorite things. So uh, I like all the game, you know, I like to grapple, but that's my strong suit for yeah. sure. So how long have you been training and in combat sports overall? Um, about this will be going on four years. So next uh, November. No, no, August, like around August twenty sixth. I started like 2021. That's when I started training. Yeah. So what made you, you know, since you're only one in one and zero in MMA, like what made you switch to to switch to MMA? You've been training for four years now. That was the original goal from the beginning. I started training to do MMA, but I uh, took Muay Thai up first because I like to like focus on one sport, focus on one sport, get as good as I can at that, mix in the other one, and then work them both. You know what I mean? Yeah. So be good at something while you're working on the other one. You know? Hey, that makes sense. Yeah. You know, so you had that last fight. You went the distance. Since I remember I was there watching live, man. You were, you guys were going at it. Uh, you did not get tired, bro. I, I, I might have made it look like that, but he, I got tired. <laughs> but yeah, I worked my cardio way better this fight. My first uh, amateur Muay Thai fight, I didn't, and I went all three rounds on that one too. One out with the unanimous decision, but I didn't want to get gassed out like that again. So this one, I made sure to take it more serious as far as cardio goes. Yeah. And that's one of the biggest things that I'm even learning, just as like you know, I'm being a fan and just being being around the sport even more locally. Just yeah. cardio just seems like one of the biggest things and you know what are the benefits of just getting that first one out especially going the distance you know winning that unanimous de de uh, decision how does it feel just know that you can go the three rounds yeah. it feels good to know I can do it but I don't plan on doing it again for sure so uh, yeah Armando he was tough he made me go three rounds but I guaranteed I promise I'm not going three rounds on this next one I can do it if we need to be but that's not happening yeah, yeah. so what can we expect from you coming up December 7th man I know you got one and oh you want to go two and oh and is this something you want to keep pursuing? I know you've been training for a little bit now. Yeah, we're just going to keep the ball going. You know, uh, Coach Jack, Coach Charlie, they've been in my corner. They've been helping me out, Empire, Handsome Muay Thai. So uh, we're going to keep going for sure uh, for this next fight, which you can expect. I mean, I know most people say they're going to go to war, bro, but I don't plan on a war. I, I plan on – I, I got to watch what I say on no, here. No, man, you're good. Uh, I'm, I'm going to just fuck this dude up, to yeah. be honest with you. It's, yeah. it's going to be a quick night for him, early night. He's going to sleep. If he don't go to sleep, he's losing regardless. So that's just what it is. Yeah. And I like that, too, because some guys don't like to, like, you know, just be like, hey, I'm going to do this, this, and this. But, you know, feeling how confident you are in the way you're talking, just like you know what you're capable of and you're going to go with there and take care of business. Yeah, it's, it's confidence for sure. I've been working super hard, uh, practicing specific stuff for this dude. And usually I don't say none. Armando was super respectful. I was respectful with him. He's a cool dude. My next opponent, i just been seeing, like, a bunch of, like, stuff on Instagram about going to war and this and that, bro. And I'm not, I'm not here for all that, like. I'm gonna handle the job. He's losing. Is what it is, you know. Yep. Any last words? Any shout outs you want to give out? You know, all your teammates, man. And this is a great gym. You got some great teammates, man. Anything you also want to say? Shout out to all the guys working. Shout out to Jimmy Dukes Gaming coming <laughs> through and, and you know working with the guys, giving us a little bit of you know clout or whatever you want to call it for the for the social medias and stuff like that. Shout out Coach Charlie. Shout out Coach Jack. Been with me since day one. And shout out to all the gyms that have been looking out, bro. Shout out Gracie's. Everybody that's rocking with us, bro. And shout Shout out to all the guys. We're going, I think, five deep. Right, Coach? We're going five deep. We're going five, so I plan on going five and zero. Oh. Team goes five and zero, oh, five and zero oh sweep. So, again, shout out to Jimmy Dukes Gaming coming through, showing love. That's what it is, bro. Empire MMA, uh, handsome Muay Thai. That's how we rock. Let's get it, man. I appreciate you, man. Good luck out there, man. All right, appreciate you. Looking forward to being out there, man. Good shit, man. Good luck.